Let's see then all the quantifiers that are available in uh, Perl. There are three major ones, the star, the plus and the question mark, and then there, the cur there is the curly braces. The star means that the previous thing appears zero or more times. So if you have this expression, ax star a, it means that x can appear zero times, meaning no, not appear at all, or once, or twice, or 700 times. So any of these strings will match aa, axa, and any number of x's between 2a. Plus, that we haven't seen earlier, is very similar, except that it requires at least one match. So the difference between the two is that the ax plus a doesn't match the aa, because x has to be there at least once. And the question mark that we earlier called as the optional marking means zero or one time. So it's just a quantifier that can that means that the thing that before it, the character before it, the x in this case, can appear zero times, meaning not to appear, or once exactly. And then there are the curly braces. That is a more generalized way of uh, setting the quantifiers. It's much less used because most of the things can be well expressed with these three, but nevertheless sometimes you do need them. In curly braces you put the curly braces after some character and then it works on that character. And you can say either a range, so this means between 2 and 4 x's, so it can be 2, 3 or 4, or you can say 3 comma and not to say what's the upper limit, meaning 3 or more, so it's 3, 4 or any number. Or you can say one single number and then it means exactly that number of matches. So this string, this regular expression matches exactly 17 x's here. Just count it quickly. Uh, in this table I just showed uh, the same, same, same thing. So star means zero or more. Uh, plus means one or more, question mark means zero or one, and then the curly braces n, n to m or n to later on, whatever, any number, or exactly n.